Hey guys, this is Daryl in the Philippines. I tell you, there's four things I love in my life. In this order, I love God, then I love my family, I love a beautiful piece of wood and working with wood, and I love animals. Along with some other things, but those are probably my top four. So I spent time with the Lord this morning and His Word and praying. I kissed my family, told them I love them. I got all the animals fed. So now I'm gonna try to go find me a mahogany tree. That's one of the things I love living here. There's so many natural resources that you can get. So let's go see if we can find us a mahogany tree and cut that baby down and make something from it. All right, guys, we found this one. I'm just wondering how Hermie got up that tree. I think he used this pole right here to climb up it. And he's up there high. That's a 58 year old man climbing that tree, barefooted and cutting those limbs. We call it a jungle bolo. It's like a big machete. And he's going up higher. There he goes. He's looking like he wants to go up. Wow. Well, that limb got stuck on that palm tree, a buco tree, as we call them, coconut tree. There it goes. Ooh. Boom. Got a good chainsaw skill. Oh. <laughs> Get away from there. Boom. See this fruit or vegetable right here? You can't eat it. But I call it the sin fruit because if the woman's pregnant and she wants to have an abortion, she she eats this. Abortion's illegal in the Philippines, but they find ways around it. So here's the wood. I'm gonna let it dry for probably a month. Love this piece. What I'll do is I'll fill that in with epoxy. Probably some some blue epoxy. Those are gonna be gorgeous. Then we got this stack over here. These are some branches there then over here got some more wait I'll show you let me go over there all right got these two pieces I'll make benches out of got some nice pieces here that's gonna make a nice pole and I got some more over here mm. There, some more. There's another piece I'll make a bench out of. Wow, that's a good load of lumber. Mahogany. So I wound up paying the tree owner, the guy to cut the tree. It was a total of about $250 for that tree. But the lumber I got out of it is, those slabs would have cost me $1,000 in America. I've seen those while I were there. 
So one slab would have cost me a thousand dollars and I paid 250 for the whole tree and got all this lumber. I can't wait to start making some furniture out of it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.